Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Google has decided to launch YouTube TV today, and it's a streaming service where you can watch live TV basically anywhere that you have the app, and of course you can Chromecast it to your TV if you'd like to watch it on a bigger screen. Currently a subscription to YouTube TV is $35 a month, and I'm in one of the five cities that it launched in, being Chicago. The other four are right next to me, and of course more to come in the future. Anyways, I want to go ahead and show off YouTube TV, go through the setup process, and then also give a mini hands-on with the app, talk about what features you get, all that good stuff. Let's get started. So to get started, here it is in the Play Store. It's also available in the App Store if you have an Apple device, and you can also watch it on your PC. So you have your phone, your tablet, PC, all where you can watch it. So let's go ahead and open it on up, and right away it's going to prompt you to subscribe to the service. You'll see TV made for you different kind of DVR, we'll talk about that, and six accounts included. So that is nice if you have a family account, maybe some roommates as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do the try one month free, and it looks like that is going to be the initial trial, and you see yeah, I live in the Chicago area. Let's go. Now, what's included? Uh, YouTube TV includes networks in my area, so these are all like Comcast, Sportsnet, that's where I'll watch the Blackhawks, uh, FS1, ABC, all the local news channels, but also, uh, you have ESPN, ESPNU, uh, USA. I mean, you can obviously see the list. And also included are YouTube Red Originals, which I have not seen. Golf Channel's added as well for those of you wanting to watch the Masters this weekend. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. And you'll see one month trial, total after free trial, starting May 5th, $35 a month. Let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and hit next. You can also add Showtime or Fox Soccer Plus. If you watch a lot of soccer, that might be of interest to you, or Showtime as well. $11, $15 a month. I'm not going to add that. Going to hit next, completing setup. Also worth noting that that $35 a month did not include your estimated tax. So Chicago taxes are very high. As you can see, add three fifteen dollars a month to that. Okay, so I hit buy. It said uh, getting started. Now welcome, learn how to make uh, TV yours. You'll see a nice little tour for you, live TV, home, and library as well. We can go ahead and hit next if you want to check this out. Homes where you find all recommendations, and the recommendations do personalize based on the user. So, you, like I said, you can add six up to six people. Their recommendations are going to be different than yours on their devices. You also get unlimited DVR storage, and that would be where your library is. It will be kept up to nine months. This shows that you do save. I also want to make note that you can only stream th have three streams going at once. So, if you have six people and six people want to watch separately, that can't be done. Only up to three streams at once. I'm very curious those of you that think this will actually compete to standard cable based on the uh, the channels that they have. Me personally, I don't watch too much TV, so this might actually catch my interest based on how much I can just pay for internet alone. So checking out the user interface, here's the live section, and when you scroll through, you can swipe through very quickly, but if there's a specific channel you wanna see a preview of, maybe Sports Center, you'll see it's got a commercial right now, so you might say, okay, maybe let's go over to Around the Horn. And you'll see a nice little preview of what they're talking about. You can quickly change all these channels. You get NHL Live, as you can see, and then the Masters right here coming right on up. I would assume this is the Wednesday practice day. Um, anyways, Prince and Me, just various channels. And as you can see, it is very fluid, very smooth. They have the Chromecast button up at the top, so if you want to go ahead and cast to a specific Chromecast, this will show up. And then if you want to watch a specific channel and you tap on it, you'll see right here, CBS2 News at 6. If I want to go into landscape mode, I can. I can see full screen on my device where you can also cast from there. And it is live. And you can go ahead and from the point that you started, you can rewind to any specific point that you've watched. So it does record while you've been watching. I can't go previous to this. But then, of course, if you want to go live, you can fast forward right away. And you have buttons to uh, rewind 15 seconds. Now, similar to the YouTube app, you can actually just swipe down to minimize that video. And it will keep rolling while you can go ahead and scan other options. So if you want to watch the Yankees play or Sports Talk Live, you can go ahead and have both of them running at the same time. And then you can just quickly hop back into what you were watching. So it's very easy to actually scan what's on other channels while you have a little window going on of what is currently on TV. Maximizing what you're watching, you can press the plus button. And what it's going to do is add to your library. And it's going to record upcoming episodes as they air on live TV. So CBS 2 News at 6 will always be recorded. And you'll see scheduled recordings. There are two of them right here. Let's let you know it's recording what's playing right now. And then tomorrow as well, it's going to record that show. Next, let's check out the home screen UI. And you'll see popular live TV going on right now. New TV shows to record. So let's say you want to go ahead and watch Criminal Minds. You can hit that plus button 
And like I mentioned, it's going to record upcoming live shows. And like I said, unlimited DVR to the cloud, so it doesn't save on your device. You don't have to worry about using using up your space. Looks like they have movies you, you can watch, news. You can never miss a game. So, for example, I'm a Bulls fan. If I go ahead and hit that plus button, it gives you information about the specific team, the last score. And if you hit the plus button, it's going to record their upcoming games so you won't miss any games if you'd like to record it. And it will do it automatically. Same with the Cubs, now that they're going on. Catch up on the latest shows. So if you want to go ahead and watch Prison Break, it's going to load it on up. And you'll see you see a quick ad. So that's definitely worth mentioning that you might get some ads in a subscription service that you paid for. This was a 30-second ad. Very interesting. I, I love to hear what you guys think about that, them adding ads to the subscription service of TV. It's also definitely worth noting that I'm attempting to go to tv.youtube.com and watch and check out the interface, but it isn't letting me. It says you can't sign into YouTube TV with this brand account. I'm not exactly sure if that's because I have a YouTube account tied to my Google account or what it is, but it's currently not working at the moment, so I can't really show you guys it. Drop a comment, let me know if you have YouTube TV and if the uh, web interface is working for you. So there you have it, there is a quick hands-on with the brand new YouTube TV app. Uh, coming to more areas soon as well, I will post a link to everything down in the description below. I'm actually very impressed with how smooth everything is, specifically with uh, switching channels, loading everything up, that will be dependent on your data speeds though, so just kinda keep that in mind. A uh, really nice option that you do have if, for whatever reason, you don't have uh, live TV at the moment, you want to watch some sports, you can do a month-by-month -month trial if there's a specific event that you'd like to see and cast, you can go ahead and do so with that Chromecast button. Uh, and of course, uh, unlimited DVR as well, not to your device, to the cloud, so that I know that was asked a lot. Uh, and that's really about it. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to me if you want more coverage on this upcoming, uh, more to come in the near future. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.